So here's an overview of the scheduling software as it exists today. If you go to schedule, you can then choose uh, to go to the booking site. So I say book.yellowbirdflyingclub.com. Uh, you can see now the um, calendar is a little more color coded. These gray, kind of browny, tan colors um, are the ones where the schedules are in the past. The uh, pinkish hue is the ones that are currently active, as in this is the one that's actually taking place at the moment. If I go forward uh, to next week, you can see that yellow is the color <coughs> for the ones that are coming up. Uh, by default, you're not logged in, so you'll want to log into the system. So I can log in here. And now I'm logged into the system, which means I have the ability to create new appointments. I can't um, move or change old ones, and I can't delete old ones. You can only uh, delete ones that aren't yet active, um, that you've created yourself, or you created for somebody else. The month view and the day view are all here. You can see these are colored are coded as well, so the active one is, is the black. The lighter brown are the ones that are in the past, and the darker brown are the ones that are coming up. So if I go to the week, and let's go to next week, one of the things we've uh, added is the ability to do notifications. And to set a notification for a specific schedule, so maybe you want to take the plane for uh, next Wednesday, but somebody else already has it booked, so you'd like to be informed if they cancel that, then what you can do is you can go in here, and it will pull up your settings that are in your profile, you can say to notify you when the booking's deleted. Maybe you want to know when the booking's changed. You can have it send you an email. You could have it send you an SMS text message. So actually, let's send an email to my Gmail account. And uh, if I choose save on this, what happens now is if somebody comes by and changes this appointment, it's going to send me a notification to let me know that that changed. So let's do a change. Let's um, make this appointment shorter in time and we'll hit save and you'll see that I get a text message comes through to my phone there we go there's the text message and if I switch to my uh, Google Mail we can see that there's an email as well indicating that the booking for Carl Tyler March 24th 9 to 6.30 was changed to 9 to 1.30 now I can also go back and let's say I delete this then that's also going to send me a text message for the deletion if I go back to my inbox and if I refresh this here I can see there's a, another notification from Yellowbird and it tells me that it was deleted and who deleted it so that means that now I could go into the system and book it myself if I wanted to so <clears throat> we can see that that booking's been cancelled but we've also now got the ability to go in with a telephone and dial and retrieve uh, the schedule. So if I just go back to today, uh, right now it's only checking, but sure it'll be adding uh, the ability to um, book as well. So let's call the yellow bird to make it telephone line. Welcome to the yellow bird scheduling system. Press 1 to hear today's schedule. Press 2 Hit tomorrow's schedule. So let's listen to today's three. schedule, so I press one. Retrieving today's schedule. Frank Duggan two AM to four thirty AM. Steve Downs eleven thirty AM to four thirty PM. Steve Downs six PM to eleven thirty PM. Press one to hear today's schedule. So let's press listen two. to tomorrow's, tomorrow's schedule. Press three. Retrieving tomorrow's schedule. No bookings have been made for tomorrow. So currently press no one. bookings for tomorrow. Two. And let's uh, punch in press three. three. It's for a specific day. Oh, and it hung up. I didn't uh, pick up the tone. But let's let's call that again. Welcome to the Yellow Bird scheduling system. Press one. To hear today's schedule. Press two to hear tomorrow's schedule. Press three to hear. Let's listen to three and look up March twenty-fifth. Please enter the month. 
followed by the day. Example February 6th is 0206. Call Tyler 12 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Press 1 to hit today's schedule. Press 2. So let me have it tomorrow. play today's schedule and watch this doing that. Let me create today's schedule. a new appointment Thanks for tomorrow. 2 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. Steve Downs 11.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Steve Downs 6 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And now let's press uh, 2 Press one to, hit to get tomorrow's schedule. schedule. 2 to hit tomorrow. Retrieving tomorrow's schedule. Call Tyler 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Press 1 to hear today's Let's schedule. Put another Press one in. 2 to hear tomorrow's schedule. Press 3 Press two again. to hear bookings for a specific day. Retrieving tomorrow's schedule. Call Tyler 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call Tyler 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Press 1 to so hear today's schedule. So you can see how schedule. the telephone's being automatically updated based upon the information in the booking system. So there you go some of the features you can do and you can move by just dragging and dropping to other days you can uh, move the starts and the end times and there goes another notification that I've been moving these things because I have a notification on this so if I have a notification for an event and I want to get rid of that I can just choose remove and now I'll get no more notifications for that event if somebody was to change it if I want to change this um, change the pilot booking for this I can click on the details section and I can say the pilot for this is actually Frank Duggan I can save that and now the pilots Frank Duggan and so on so you can see it's pretty pretty flexible system